Welcome to my views on news. In this video, we'll have a detailed look at all the active fronts uh, in this third phase of Ethiopia, Tigray and Eritrea war. Firstly, one clarification or one point which I want to make for Eritrean viewers. Several Eritrean viewers contact me, they comment as well, they say, Sajid, it's Tigray Defense Force which is attacking Eritrean territories. And you keep on saying that uh, uh, Eritrean Ethiopian forces are attacking Tigray. Uh, we know that uh, when this war started on the 24th of August uh, last month, Tigray forces tried to move uh, from Alamata Koram towards Volo, Voldia, and they managed to reach Kobo, Kobo Robert. So, push was in southern direction from southern Tigray. Can you imagine that at the same time TDF uh, would launch an offensive into northern side as well, towards the northern uh, areas too? to the north of Adigarat, this is Eritrea, here, here, can you imagine? No militaries in the world launch such offensives which are in opposite directions, especially, especially when they know that uh, to the east there are already deployment of forces which can cut them off here, cut off supplies here. So, uh, militarily, uh, no one can say that Tigray would be planning such offensives uh, simultaneously in northern and southern directions. It's not possible. No military does it in this way. No military operates in this way. So, TDF is not trying to enter Eritrea, uh, rather uh, it is uh, Eritrean military and Ethiopian National Defense Force which have launched offensives uh, uh, all uh, across this uh, border, Tigray, Eritrea border. Now, let us start uh, from Vuldia viewers. Uh, you can see Vuldia here, we know that uh, Tigray forces, their known uh, presence close to Valdia is in Doro Gibber, in Vacho, in Gobi, this is Gobi here. And uh, they have taken control of this road, uh, Kobo Robit, uh, to areas to the north as well. But they were not attacking Valdia. Uh, they had uh, managed to cut off this road too, but they were in control of uh, Hera Gobi. This is a confirmed position of Tigray Defense Force on this front. Since last night, we have been hearing uh, claims from uh, Amhara side that they have retaken Gobi here. But we are in the process of confirmation. We have not been able to confirm it. If Gobi has been retaken, it means Doro Geber has been retaken as well. Uh, we are waiting. Why? Because uh, Gobie has changed hands several times uh, in the last 20 days or so. It was under TDF, it was under ENDF first, then TDF uh, took it, ENDF recaptured, 24 hours after that TDF recaptured and now we are once again hearing about Gobie uh, coming under ENDF Amhara control. But again I am saying uh, we will have to uh, work a little to confirm it. So, I would not say that Gobie is under ENDF Amhara control. Now, let us wait a little, We're waiting for some sort of confirmation. So, you, this is Valdia front and we can say same is Kobo, Kobo Robert as well where counter offensives being launched from western side, from here, from here, but mainly no change here. Uh, Kobo, Kobo Robert both are under TDF. And to the east as well, uh, these areas, Boran and uh, uh, here and here, there are uh, Zobal Mountains, Fokis as well, uh, all are under Tigray control, though uh, for the control of Fokisa, uh, we have seen massive uh, offensives from a far side uh, to the east of Kobo, Robit and Kobo, but uh, 
the Graia forces are holding uh, their positions uh, on this front so far. Secondly, viewers, uh, here afar or to the east of Alamata, there is uh, yellow and here there is uh, Golina. Uh, you can see here this is Golina. Uh, again, Tigray forces are in yellow. They have not made any considerable advance into Golina. In Golina only they have, uh, they have Fokisa, uh, but they are not making a move to go deep into Golina. But they are in yellow to the east of Alamata. Important front in Afar is a zone 2, viewers, situated uh, to the east of uh, Makele. Here, this is Abala, Birhale, uh, here somewhere. Uh, to the east of uh, Makele, to the east of uh, Makele uh, Koram Road. This is uh, a far Tegarai border. This is an important front now. If you remember, in previous videos, we have been saying that there uh, was, uh, there would be some offensives towards Makele, towards uh, Tegarai from a far side. Uh, why was I saying that? We're keeping in view uh, what we saw in the second and first phases of this war, it was very expected. People say, Sajid, you are recommending offensives, you are guiding ENDF and uh, Amhara forces and uh, Iratians. Well, they are fighting in the battlefield. I am no one to guide them. Uh, they know better how to fight all sides. I just analyzed developments based on my experience, based on what we saw in the first and second phase of this war. So, uh, offensive from eastern side towards uh, uh, Tigray is not a surprise for me. It was going to happen. It is happening now. We know that in, uh, not in Abala, but close to Abala, fighting is being reported uh, in uh, Birhale as well. Uh, from uh, Birhale, this is Birhale, here you can see. Uh, from Birhale, Eretians uh, and Afar forces, ENDF, uh, they are trying to move towards, uh, they are trying to move along this road uh, towards uh, Makale. Uh, and from here, they are trying to move uh, uh, towards uh, Tegarai, uh, Afar border. Uh, and in yesterday's video, I confirmed fighting uh, in these border areas. So, offensive from Afar towards Tegarai has been launched. But I personally think that this offensive uh, will progress slowly. Why? Because uh, EDF and ENDF would like their forces from here, from Eretia, to move towards uh, Adegarat, towards uh, Vakro, and from here towards Aksom. Once uh, uh, EDF and ENDF manage to take some towns along this road, then we could see intensified offensive from the east towards Makale. But preparations are there. Small-scale fighting is also ongoing to the east of Makale in Afar, on Afar Tegarai uh, border. Thirdly, with Sikota, no change. Uh, Tegarai forces are away from Sikota. They are not in a position to capture Sikota. They were in a position to capture Sikota a few days ago, but then a counter-offensive came and TDF was pushed back. Uh, uh, no change uh, here uh, in battle fronts. Uh, you can see here Evergale. This is on uh, Tegarai Amhara border. Uh, Evergale, there is uh, ENDF in Evergale. ENDF is trying to go deep into Tegarai here towards Samre, towards Chile. Rumors being spread, but I could not confirm any uh, ENDF. Uh, gains inside Tegarai on this front, though Samre and Chile reportedly are under heavy shelling and ENDF managed to enter, but uh, how deep are they, uh, are they in control of any major places, we have no confirmation. Only claims are being made that uh, e e e ENDF has reached Tambion from here, it has entered Central Tegarai, but I could not confirm any such claims. Only confirmation is that uh, EDF is in, e e ENDF and Amhara forces are in Evergale, they are shelling Samre, Chile as well, they are trying to go deep into Tigray, but so far no major gains on this front. Then viewers, we can see Debark at the RK front here, 
Tegrae forces uh, managed to reach close to the RK uh, just three days ago from eastern side reportedly from here. Uh, from Bora, from here, they managed to get close to the RK. Uh, and uh, later we saw that the counteroffensive came and uh, we got confirmation, visual confirmation that the RK is not under uh, TDF control. TDF has been pushed uh, back from the RK. TDF is somewhere here, Meleham, and uh, to the east of the RK as well. The RK is under. Uh, full control of ENDF and Amhara forces. May Samre under TDF control boards, no gains here. ENDF has been trying to take May Samre, May Samre, but no major gains. Uh, then you can see uh, here Dadebut not visible here. This is Takeze and here it Dadebut. Uh, Dead about offensive could not produce result for ENDF. For days they fought here, they crossed Takeze, they tried to take control of uh, Dead about to move towards uh, Shire uh, and this road which links Shire with Shiraro, uh, this one, this one. But they could not make any advance here and Dead about is not under uh, ENDF uh, uh, control. What about Volkayet? Uh, uh, the place is here, this one Volkayet, Homera. Uh, no gains by Tigray forces despite their multiple offensives towards uh, Volkayet since the start of this uh, war. TDF has been trying to recapture Volkayet uh, now from Sudan side as well. Efforts have been made but no gains. Volkayet, Homera, Sagade all are under uh, ENDF and Amhara control. What about Tegarai Eritrea border two days ago? Uh, massive offensives were launched towards uh, Tegarai territories from Eritrean soil uh, by ENDF and EDF. As I said earlier, both are involved, both forces, con both countries' forces, EDF, ENDF, they are trying to move deep into Tegarai. Uh, any gains, uh, Chiraro was already under EDF control, uh, rumors being spread that it has come back under TDF control but no visual confirmation. We have no confirmation so that is why we will keep it under EDF control unless we have some visual confirmation that it has been retaken by Tegarai forces. On Adegarath front reportedly some advances have been made by Eritrean forces. They have crossed the border and they have uh, succeeded in moving along this road uh, towards Adegarath. Adegarath was already under pressure before the start of this offensive from Iratin soil. It was being kept under artillery shelling. Uh, here reportedly they have made some gains on Adegarath and on Erob fronts uh, to the east of Adegarath. Small uh, gains uh, by EDF are being reported but not any major gains. A Sirona front, this is Sirona, uh, you can see here. Here fighting is being reported in different places. Close to this road too, some say that uh, fighting is ongoing close to Ganta, Efishom and Anticho, but in a northern direction uh, close to Tegarai, Eritrea border. But we could not confirm so far any EDF, ENDF gain along this road, Adagarath to Adwa road. Has any town, any small city come under EDF, ENDF control? No. So far, fighting is in border areas. Yes, towards Adagarath, they have managed to advance. Uh, but uh, here, Rama, again, border area fighting uh, and Shiraro, we already know that there was fighting even before the start of this new offensive. And Shire as well, we know that uh, they were uh, EDF, and they were trying to move towards Shire. Uh, and they managed to reach uh, uh, Dairo uh, reportedly, uh, even before the start of this uh, offensive by EDF and ENDF two days ago. So, here also, no major gains by ENDF and EDF after the start of this new offensive two days ago. 
uh, fighting is still ongoing uh, here and uh, here in border areas. So we can sum up that uh, so far uh, uh, EDF and ENDF are uh, in the, the first two days of their major operation into Tigray from Eritrea, they have not made any major gains so far. They are trying to move towards major cities uh, along A2 highway, but so far no gains. It is a long war, viewers. Uh, we should not uh, expect any outcome of this war, military outcome, in just a few days ago. You will keep on seeing advances, retreats, towns lost, towns regained. Problem for Tigray in this war is air superiority held by EDF, uh, ENDF. I don't know if EDF uh, air assets are involved or not, but ENDF air assets are involved. This is the main problem for Tigray that uh, on multiple fronts, air strikes, drone strikes are being conducted. So, Tigray's offensive capabilities have been damaged. They have been weakened. Why? Because you, for offensive capabilities, for offensive operations, you need mobilization, which becomes difficult if you are under the threat of continuous drone strikes and air strikes. But Tigray is defending. So far, we can say Tigray is defending and no major gains have been made by ENDF and ENDF uh, to capture any big city or town in Tigray, only Shiraro fell and that also several days ago. Thank you for watching.